Hey, I just wanted to respond to this question right here. Someone is asking about what is the best thing to invest in when you are a beginner and should you open up your Roth IRA online or should you open it at a local bank or something? So I am gonna go ahead and answer that question for you. When it comes to setting up your Roth IRA, it's going to depend on your age. That is the first thing that I am going to ask someone is how old are you? That will help me to determine what's the best approach and what type of things you're supposed to be investing in. If you are like myself and in your 40s, then you need to have your Roth IRA set up for moderate to aggressive. Question two, how much money are you investing? If you are going to invest in a Roth IRA and you are below the age of 50, then you can contribute the $7,000 or if you're above the age of 50, then you can contribute $8,000. Number three, after I ask that question, then I'm going to get into your risk level to find out, okay, if you were in, let's say your 20s, 30s or something like that, you can withstand doing aggressive growth, which is going to be set up based on you being able to retire in your 60s. So you have time to ride the waves of the market. So therefore you can take a little more risk when you're investing. So if you are, it, like myself, if you're in your 40s, then you want to have something that's tailored towards moderate, some aggressive. And then when you start to get in your 50s and 60s, you want to start leaning a little more towards conservative, okay? You can't afford to take a bunch of risk when you're getting so close to retirement. So those are the things I'm going to ask you. Based on those details, mutual funds are always going to be a safer route for people who are not wanting to take a lot of risk because with a mutual fund, you are pretty much investing in a basket of investments in that mutual fund versus investing in individual stocks. Individual stocks can be risky because you're putting your money in one thing. So if you were purchasing Microsoft, you're only buying Microsoft. So if it goes down, then your investment goes down. If it goes up, then just that one single investment goes up. Whereas with a mutual fund, you have a variety of funds within that basket. So therefore, if you have 10 things in the basket and only two go down, your investment is still sustained. So mutual funds are always easier and they're less riskier when it comes to new investors and you don't want to just get out of the gate and jump into something that you don't have the experience the second part of that question was asking about should you do investments with a local bank or should you do something online it depends on you you're the person do you feel more comfortable walking in and talking to an individual to have that one-on-one -on -one, um, conversation or do you uh, prefer to do it online to where you don't have to talk to somebody. You're okay with doing everything on a computer. And if you have to talk to somebody, you can open up a chat or call them over the phone. It depends on what you prefer as the investor. If you go to a local bank, then they're only going to have a limited amount of investments versus if you were to do an online investment company, they have access to a litany of of investments and everything that you can choose from but it depends on yourself every investor is different it's just like a fingerprint there is no investor that is the same as the next everyone is different so let me know if you have questions if you are not following me go ahead and follow me on platforms like youtube and on tiktok okay guys.